Jimmy Carter says Brett Kavanaugh is unfit to serve on the Supreme Court. Former President Jimmy Carter is once again taking a stand against controversies stemming from the Trump administration. The Georgia Democrat, 94, said during a speech at Emory University on Wednesday that President Trump's most recent Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, who was confirmed on October 6, was unfit to serve on the nation's highest legal body, according to the school's newspaper, The Emory Wheel. Addressing the sexual abuse allegations made against Kavanaugh by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who testified in front of the Senate that he assaulted her during a party when they were in high school, Carter told the students, whether or not he attempted to rape her, I thought he was temperamentally unfit to serve on the Supreme Court because of his outburst during the hearing, I saw him lose his cool. Kavanaugh has denied Dr. Ford's allegations, as well as those made against him by two more women. According to a video posted to Facebook by an attendee, the 39th president continued, most of the American people were not in favor of his being on the Supreme Court. But he's there now because the Senate is quite subservient to Donald Trump and afraid of his displeasure. Carter also called Kavanaugh partisan, concluding, I was not in favor of his confirmation. The Nobel Prize winner has been a vocal critic of politics in the Trump era, most recently calling out the president's behavior following the death of Sen. John McCain. In an interview with Fox Business Network's Cavuto, Coast to Coast at the end of August, Carter said, I thought that President Trump made a mistake at first by not recognizing John McCain's unquestioned commitment to our country in the Navy and as a prisoner of war and also in his service in Congress. Carter, who, like McCain, graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, added that Trump's early mistakes in the matter were later adequately corrected. I think both Trump's critics and also his supporters made it plain to him that he had made a mistake when the flag was up and down and so forth, Carter said. But I think that his last statement that I read yesterday has basically corrected that and now the flag will be lowered in honor of John McCain's service to our country until the appropriate time. So, I think the early mistakes that had been made have been adequately corrected. The Supreme Court's Public Information Office did not immediately respond to people's request for comment 